it's gold. Uh, there's 300 tons of gold at the Bank of England, supposedly. So just a rough estimate, uh, y'all are owed at least 100 tons. That's $4 billion. Uh, so that's half the national debt paid off right there. Now here's the great thing about uh, having $4 billion of the gold sitting in the Bank of England, is that uh, George Osborne, David Cameron, Tony Blair, the Queen, George Osborne, I'm not talking about Elton John, by the way, I'm talking about <laughs> the woman in Buckingham Palace. Um, they, you know, over the past uh, few decades have been playing the games with the gold because gold is something that is uh, something of a barometer of your economic health. And if gold price goes up, it means that your economic policies maybe are not so good. So what this government has been doing, particularly in the city of London, is that they've been selling a lot of what's called paper gold. They sell a lot of paper contracts, futures contracts, in the market to drive the price of gold down. And as a result, here we are in 2014, and it's widely believed, and I believe this to be true, is that the gold that the Bank of England says that they have, they don't have. Uh, this has been shipped off to what are called bullion banks who have sold it off to China, Russia, Iran. You know, Russia's been buying a lot of gold, thousands of tons. China's been buying thousands of tons. Where did they get the gold? They've been buying more gold than the countries who produce gold produce in any given year. They've been buying more gold than we've seen on uh, any official marketplaces in the physical market than for 10 years. Where do they get that gold? They get it from the Bank of England. Because the Bank of England is concerned about the paper price of shit and not the real price of an economy. And as a result, if you in Scotland demand delivery of your 100 tons of gold, you will force the Bank of England into the open market to buy, to cover the gold that they don't have. And it's a fucking gun to their head! Yay. It's a gun to their head! Okay, if every Cameron opens his fat fucking mouth, or there's Osborne, pudgy Georgie Osborne, say, give me, give me the gold right now or shut the fuck up. Okay, and they have no answer to that because they sold the gold. Uh, and you are owed the gold. That's four billion in gold. Now let's go back, let's go back to what Gordon Brown did. What did Gordon Brown do in the early, I guess it was the early 1990s? Okay, you got a call from, uh, uh, the BBC uh, guy, Davies' wife, who was working with Goldman Sachs, secretary, his secretary, and they got the call, Gordon Brown said, Gordon, you know, Goldman Sachs is short uh, uh, gold in, in America, and we want you, Britain, to sell your gold to drive the price down so that our friends in New York at Goldman Sachs can cover their short. And what did Gordon Brown do? He sold 400 tons of your gold. Gordon Brown sold 400 tons of the UK's gold. The UK went from number eight of the top gold owners to 18. He sold it at the worst price in decades. He told the market before he was gonna sell it that he was gonna sell it. He sold it in installments that guaranteed the worst possible price. Uh, and uh, as a result, he went from having 700 tons of gold to uh, 300 tons of gold. But I figure you're owed 100 tons. Uh, right now, that's $4 billion. But let's go back in time and say, you know, Gordon Brown sold that gold illegally. The Bank of England did not authorize that sale. It was, it, even the Telegraph covered this and noticed that this is a completely done with a, a completely, uh, uh, without any legal basis whatsoever. So you're owed at least another 100 tons. So now you got 200 tons. That's $8 billion. That's your, I think, your deficit. That's cleaned up. That's gone. Now you've got the oil you're pre-selling to the Chinese. And your long-term deficit's gone. Now you've got an English-speaking population that's got a high-tech corridor that uh, can compete with fucking Ireland and give everyone a tax break. Now you're, you're, you're going to be the, I, I, the Scottish tiger. Okay? You've, you've got all the assets here. You've got no debt, you've got gold, you've got English-speaking people, you've got the ability to, if you're independent, 
to uh, cut you know, corporate tax rates down to compete with Ireland. Why not? Why should Ireland be the only English-speaking country in the region with, a high, with an educated workforce that Google and Facebook and all these numbskulls can come and open up uh, offices and hire thousands of people, thousands of people. So all those people in the oil industry who are for, uh, you know, afraid of losing their job, well, you know, their kids are gonna become uh, entrepreneurs and uh, you got all the resources here. The bankers and the insurance brokers and all those folks who are gonna lose their job, well, I suggest jumping off a fucking building because you're worthless scum. You've done nothing but <laughs> basically rip. Okay, yeah! And finally from Frederick Bastiat, 1850. Quote, when plunder becomes a way of life for a group of men living together in society, they create for themselves, in the course of time, a legal system that authorizes plunder and a moral code that glorifies plunder. Ladies and gentlemen, I say vote yes.